Uh, hi, Bob. I looked at your post and uh, looks like you've got a window. You want a round top above it. Uh, importing window symbols from uh, 3D Warehouse, as you've already seen, is in Pro is not very workable. In, in Chief Premier, I can designate when I import a symbol as to what sort of symbol it's supposed to be, whether it's supposed to fit in a cabinet or fit in a wall. And you just don't have that functionality in Pro. So I thought I'd show you a little bit what you can do with just the default tools. I put a standard window here. <clears throat> We'll open it up and put some lights in it. Oh, that's too many. Yeah, it's more like it. And we'll make this um, 60 inches tall. Yeah, okay. I'm going to do several things here, but you go back to the window tool. <clears throat> I'm going to click it in. See how the precursor there puts it right above the window? It's a little tall. Let's move this one down. That is 72 in terms of the height. And let's see, 72 and uh, 72 plus 36. What is that? 112, isn't it? And the height width is 36. Let's make this 24. We'll change the type of this upper window to uh, fixed glass. <laughs> Need to lower it down some more. Uh, my math in my head's not very reliable. I get 110, 100, I mean. Okay, that's close enough for government work, as they say. I'm going to move it over just a little bit. A little bit, I said. <laughs> I think that's good enough. Now I'm going to take this, there's one thing I noticed uh, on this default setting, The uh, I'm going to change those defaults in the windows. If I can find the window tool, there it is, and double click there, go to frame. It's got the bottom set to two and a half, I don't know why it's set up to two and a half. But that's neither here nor there, you just read the specifications for the window you're using and that's what you use. Okay, now let this upper window, <coughs> I'm going to open it up and uh, tell it to be a round top. Okay, now I don't need a sill in it, so I'm going to go over to, um, excuse me, lintel and sill and remove this exterior sill and the interior sill. So now it just has casing around it. We'll put some uh, lights in it. Let's see, yours, uh, what does yours look like? Got one, two, okay, three, and they're concentric. So we'll do, uh, <coughs> excuse me, three lights across, concentric, and the ray count at three. And that's pretty much your window, isn't it? Now looking at the image, that looks like it. So you don't need to import uh, a win import things to do this particular window, and on some, perhaps, perhaps so. Now I'm going to take this one and hold the shift key and Select the bar. Oh, that's right. You can't. Uh, there's no block command. All right. Well, we'll we'll do without that then. I'm going to take the bottom window and uh, go to the lintel and sill tab. <coughs> I don't know if I should go here, go the, go here or not, but I'm going to anyway. I'm going to go to the library, and I don't remember what's uh, available. Not much. The reason I want to put a, a molding on the sill, yeah, I just find one that's a fairly decent shape. You can do this much better in uh, Chief Architect Premier because I can I can draw a relationally correct window sill, I mean brick ledge, and then import it. And can't do that in Pro, at least not very easily. So where's Oh, okay, I haven't imported the uh, Archways uh, library. I could have used I just want something that's kind of square. 
They don't have handrails. I was expecting to see handrails here. <clears throat> I don't think, uh, go back to plan view. I don't think you can draw in uh, molding profiles and put them in the library. I'm pretty sure. Won't take but a moment to find out. Be under CAD, boxes. Okay, there's a convert command. There's no add to library command. Yeah, that's only in Chief Premier. All right. I'll just show you what can be done then. <clears throat> I'm going to take both of these windows and open a dialog box for them. And you wouldn't have this big casing around a, a masonry window, so I'm going to suppress the casing. The exterior casing. That just leaves a sill. That looks a little more realistic. By default, <clears throat> it should on the options tab already be recessed like you would, you would rec by recessed it means the window frame attaches to the wood framing and not to the, to the brick, and that's a, a more correct setting. Looks like this window's a little high. I'm going to drop it another four inches or so. Yeah, it looks better. Okay. <clears throat> And then on the, uh, I wanted to add a molding profile to the sill. I just didn't see one in the proper shape. I, I just need something that's square. But the way this works, if the molding profile is drawn exactly like the object you want to emulate, well, then it comes in and attaches to the window uh, properly. But I just don't, well, that's kind of square. We'll use that. And the reason I did that is because when you do that, you get an extra listing in the Materials tab. And uh, I think this is Brick 5. So we've got a library material for this to assign to the sill. And, 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 and. I think we want to, we want to go to Masonry and Masonry and Stone. Brick natural brick and there should be yeah okay see they have these soldier course patterns in there for that I'm gonna sign it well that didn't that didn't look quite right let me go to plan material and edit and uh, the texture I think I want to flip 90 degrees I don't know why I have to do this I don't have to do this in Premiere this, that just doesn't look right. Maybe uh, maybe that's the vector view. Click on edit. We'll flip the pattern. I just want that it's one of the other, one way or the other. Yeah, that looks more like it. Okay. See, the only thing bad about this is it doesn't project out. That's But in Pro, you just if you wanted to project out, you'd want to put a soffit there or something like that so it'll project out and put that material on it. But I, I don't see why you would need to import this window when you can make it in Pro. And uh, importing windows from 3D warehouses, is, is you just don't have the tools to do that for windows and, and doors. I don't think doors or windows will work. You can import symbols, and doors and windows are symbols, but they're a specific kind of symbol. And uh, from 3D Warehouse, they come in in kind of a generic coding, <clears throat> excuse me. And so the, your software can't differentiate a window from a door, from a cabinet, from a piece of furniture. And uh, you can in Chief Premier, of course, for a couple thousand more bucks, you can, <laughs> you can do that. But this is what you can do in Pro now, and, and I hope this, you find this helpful.